Two years ago, the art market took a dive. Today, it's a much more cheerful scene. This week, almost 400 million pounds of art goes on sale at fairs and auctions in London. So does all this mean the art market's recovered from the recession? Well, the volume is inching back towards the volumes one had uh, pre-second uh, half of 08. And uh, the prices, in some cases, are also uh, nearly back to what they were before. While supply has improved, the recovery of demand remains uneven. Many collectors are still cautious on emerging artists, yet some of the best-known brand names have barely felt a dip. As an artist, all I can say is at each freeze, I've sold more and more work each year. So if you're talking about the recession, it hasn't actually hit me yet. Other artists have seen their prices fall more than 50% and have yet to bounce back. In May, Sotheby's and Christie's contemporary prices were double their 2009 averages. A month later in London, prices shrank to a quarter of that pace. This Damien Hurst is now estimated to sell at Sotheby's tonight for one-third less than it would have in 2007. The Freeze Fair will test the opposite end of the market. This show features less expensive work from more emerging artists. So buyers here are taking more of a risk on the unknown. And so how are sales this year now? Oh, God, this fair is good. We've brought back more costly work from the gallery. In other words, more established artists from our roster. Uh, work that we wouldn't have risked bringing from the States last year. Whether it's for the high-end modern or the cutting edge that some call rubbish, more collectors are turning up to freeze than ever before. And even if prices aren't flying high, money is clearly once again in the air. Olivia Stearns, Bloomberg, London.